In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the if function, the else if function, and also the else function. What we're going to do is we're going to create a program which asks the user for their favorite team. If they enter Bolton Wanderers or Bolton, we're going to say this is the best team in the world. If they say Liverpool, we're going to say this team isn't that great. If they say any other team, we're going to say this is an okay team. Now what we're actually doing is we're checking for two separate things. We're checking for Bolton and we're checking for Liverpool. Now, I've already gone ahead and created a variable called team. I've used my input function and I've asked the question or I've asked the user to enter their favorite team. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with if team is equivalent to Bolton going to put my colon and press enter so I've got my indentation so what do I want to do if the user enters Bolton well I'm going to print Bolton are the best team in the world now I've checked for Bolton I've got to check for Liverpool which is a second check so whenever we want to check for more than one item, we must use something called an else if. Now else if has been shortened as L if. So we're going to say L if team is equals equals, which is equivalent to Liverpool. Then I want to say this is not a great team. Now I've checked for Bolton and I've checked for Liverpool. I'm going to check for every other team. So if they don't say Bolton or Liverpool, I want this action to occur. So I'm going to say else. Now because we're not checking for anything specific, we're just saying every other answer possible. We're going to just put a colon and say print. This is an okay team. I just want to highlight that else if must always be after the if function. It's not possible to have an else if before the if. The if is the first condition that we're checking for or the first test that we're doing. So for example, we're testing for Bolton first, so we use an if. But whenever we want to check for other items, we use an else if. Now we could check for more teams, we could have checked for Arsenal and Leeds and so on and so forth. So whenever we check for anything extra, we put an L if. We're going to just test this, I'm going to press play. I'm going to type in Bolton and I'm going to press enter and it does give us the output that we were expecting. So Bolton are the best team in the world. I'm going to test Liverpool now, it's a great city. Um, a beautiful city. But it says Liverpool are not a great team. I'm going to press play again and this time I'm going to try Leeds. Press enter and it says this is an okay team. So this is a general output that would occur for any other team. I also want to make clear that this program is not case sensitive. So for example, if I was to type in Bolton as a lowercase it would not actually trigger this output because Bolton with a capital B is not the same as Bolton with a, a lowercase b. So what I would like you to do is actually make this program so that it's not case sensitive. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial.